This is the Insomniacs Anonymous podcast, where we're not happy until you're not happy. Today on the podcast, we talk about new beginnings, we talk about new expansions, we talk about how Microsoft unleashed a Twitter bot that became a raving racist lunatic. Yeah, stick around, it should be pretty good, I guess, you know, unless if... Oh, wait, no, we're shutting down the website, so yeah, no, that's not going to be good. Huh. Hello and welcome to the third episode of the IA Podcast. Today is April 1st, 2016. And I have some pretty awesome people with me today. I have Shro. Of course. And Dude Ryan. Hi. And uh, as you all probably know, my name is Brian. And we'll be talking about a bunch of random stuff. You know, the random stuff that we usually talk about. We missed a week, so I got to cover a little bit more of it. Exactly. Now, we'll have I, to be more concise about it and ramble less for once. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Now, Unlike my stream of consciousness in another early... Word! Word vomit. <laughs> words are so many words are happening right now. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> what happened earlier that I was trying to talk about and just totally failed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go much. sit in the corner and think about what I've just done. <laughs> so I know the last week, the reason why we weren't able to record the podcast was because I actually got late into coming home at like a decent hour. So we had to push it back, and my week was just pretty busy. So we've had to push it back all the way up until today. So but I mean, you know, I was basically back. in a coma that day too. Oh, there you go. Did you so hear yeah, what I happened to be? I actually set my alarm because I was so tired that day after basically getting no sleep, having to be up at dawn, go to school, blah, blah, blah. Came back home, went to bed, set my alarm. I actually woke up at 10.55 via my alarm mm-hmm. to get ready for the podcast. I went to the bathroom and I peed and it was a really refreshing pee. And then I woke up at 6 in the morning, and I don't know what happened between those two points. <laughs> so that was recording the, the uh, podcast for me last week, was how the fuck did I get back at my bed? <laughs> By the way, so you were saying about um, your you set up your alarm and everything. Now, what was that program called, the alarm where you actually have to scan something in order for oh, the alarm to there's stop There's a beeping? few of them that do it now, but I've been exploring this program, which is actually mad at me now. My 14-day trial is over, and so it, like, disables a bunch of its features. Wait, so um, you actually, this is an alarm you have to pay for? Um, the full functionality, I'll get to that. The alarm function itself, no. It's called Sleep as Android. Um, and a few, the scanning thing is that if you have any QR code or you want to print one out or whatever, you teach the program the code and then you go hang the code anywhere in your house. They recommend the bathroom because that's where most people go when they wake up in the morning. And it's playing on the idea that if you force yourself to have to actually get out of bed, it makes it easier to wake up for those of us that are heavy sleepers, also known as Shro, who sleeps through tornado sirens that are literally 200 feet from his house. That's insane. Like, you actually have tornado sirens around you. Well, yeah. I mean, they're technically called air raid sirens, but... Yeah, no, during college, my apartment that I lived in for two years, the air raid siren for the entire city was on a pole that was on the other side of the parking lot from my apartment. Whoa. It was not far from me at all. I was like ground zero for that stupid little alarm. And every Wednesday throughout the spring and summer, that little sucker would wind up for like two minutes. And it it was fun because it was one of the old school ones that actually does wind up. So you could hear it go and all the way back down when it ended. And, yeah, more than once, I would completely sleep through that motherfucker. (laughs) Unfazed. Thank God we didn't actually need to rely on it for anything, because if I was asleep, I'd be dead. Yeah, pretty much, eh? Fortunately, I was also actually in the ground-level apartment, which was half-built into a hill, because it was one of those buildings. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, had I slept through it, I would have theoretically been in one of the best places in the building already. So, might have lived. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? But hey, uh, you were telling me, too, that you had a story about that when uh, apparently you were in your car and then the alarm went off. Oh, 
Um, so yeah, you teach the, um, the program, the QR code, and then if you, you can, like, set default states for, like, if you just randomly act, make a nap out of nowhere, or you want to create a new alarm, uh, it'll refer to the default states that you set for the program, if, for all the options, and then you can change them if you want, or it'll just assume all those default settings. So, of course, when I programmed the QR code reader as the way to dismiss and finally turn off the alarm, um, it, I set that as default. And then several days later, I got to school. I was really tired after my drive there because I came directly from work two counties away. So I set a nap for 20 minutes and cranked the seat back. I was just going to take a nap in my car mm-hmm. and did fine. And alarm goes off in 20 minutes. But I forgot to change the QR parameter as the dismiss function. So it was like, hey, scan that QR code you taught me. Except that the QR code is taped to the counter in my bathroom 25 miles away. <laughs> and yeah, that was it was really difficult to get that alarm to shut up. <laughs> I had to crash sure. like three different program processes in the background <laughs> and almost just rebooted the entire phone. Oh man, only Shro, only you. No, oh, no, I'm sure something else. Way to Shro. Way to yeah, Shro it up. Way God. to Shro it up, man. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hey, Anyways, so, what have you I, tortured yourself with, Mr. Workaholic? Uh, well, I mean, you know, it hasn't really been work, but just like getting some stuff done, you know, like a bunch of errands and visiting family, you know, just... It's All been like for masturbating in the closet. Oh, definitely. <laughs> so basically, I mean, you know, that's pretty much what my week has been. I did get around to playing some Asta online. Oh, how'd you like? So, it was pretty good, honestly. Uh, I do like the way that it the game controls. Like, honestly, that's one of the big things. Like for me, like with um Guild Wars Two, like it, it I like the way that it kind of like moves like. In World of Warcraft, but Guild Wars 2, for some reason, there's something a little weird about it. So, and uh, it's been like this for a lot of MMOs for me, you know, like it, they just, it moves so weirdly. But this game, actually, I think it just, it gets it, you know, like it does it right, in my opinion. So, control wise, it's really cool. Art style wise, I do like it as well. Right now, I'm still in the kind of tutorial-ish area, so it's, like, kind of slow. I kind of wish it would just kind of zoom past it and just get on to, like, the actual adventuring thing. It seems like there's a lot of, like, little... I wouldn't really say cutscenes, but it feels like there's been a lot of, like, in-game cutscenes in the beginning. Yeah. Other than that, it's been pretty fun. Yeah. Uh, how about you, dude, Ron? What you been up to? Um, the usual... Making videos, trying to not scream at myself for reasons and stuff. Oh, awesome. That always seems good. Mm-hmm. Are you still uh, playing Hatofa boy- Boyfriend? God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I would have thought that is done apparently with that game. not near done yet. <laughs> I didn't not know that game was as long as it is. I didn't expect it to be that long either, but apparently, according to the person who requested I keep playing the game, there's a lot more to this one route I'm going for at the moment. So Speaking of, we should get that said person to join us in podcasts. I, I should, but one. they are in another time zone on the other side of the world, and I don't know their schedule. Well, they're so if you're listening, Path Abby, of not Exile, normal, so... let me know, and I will try to squeeze you in in here. Oh my. There you go. Not in that way, though. Oh my. Squeeze you in here. Hey. Yeah. Well, I mean, we've missed a couple of things from last week that have happened. Uh, so oh, yeah. I feel like, you know, maybe we should just bring those up. Um, now, this is a much older news, but, you know, they did announce that some new stuff this week. So I want to talk about how Game Trailers was shut down, like, about a month ago, which is crazy. Honestly, like... I did not see that coming. I thought they were still doing pretty good as far as viewers and, like, you know, ad revenue and all that stuff. I mean, don't they... They're the people that stream, like, E3 and, like, the game, the VGA stuff. So, it's like... So, yeah, I I guess it kind of came as a shock to me, but... 
Uh, was the reason why they shut down explained? Or? Um, as far as I know, I'm not really too sure on the reason why they shut down, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if it was really because of all this new YouTube kind of format as far as like how people consume video game reviews by these pseudo kind of let's play reviews, you know, so... Instead of having, like, that old format of game reviews is kind of feels outdated, I guess. So, it's a lot more entertaining to actually watch someone play it in real time, so it seems. Or review it in a comedic fashion. Exactly. In a more entertaining way. Yeah. But, you know, it's, yeah, it happened, and um, the staff is actually now, they've launched a brand new site... They've got a Patreon going for it, and they've named it Easy Allies, and, you know, yeah, it's it's something to watch out for. I mean, uh, did you guys go on the website, like, a lot? GameTrailers.com, anything? Nah. Actually, I just kind of looked at YouTube stuff as I was linked to it, or randomly recommended it through YouTube. Because, mm-hmm. you know, YouTube likes to just randomly say, hey, remember that horse porn video you watched? Well, here's some more! Um... <laughs> So, yeah, I've seen some of their stuff, but I didn't even actually realize they had a separate website. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, I mean, yeah, we'll we'll see what happens there. Um, another thing that happened, too, was the whole Microsoft Twitter fiasco thing and the, the Twitter bot that they released. And then okay. <laughs> shortly thereafter was completely just... <sighs> Just yeah, it's <laughs> the bot became a Nazi. <laughs> Basically, yes, the, it became a a racist, uh, racist, racist incestuous Nazi. Nazi. <laughs> Nazi. All the Nazis. <laughs> oh man, honestly, it's like that's the problem, you know. I mean, if you're gonna release something on the internet like this that can learn things from other people, not only is that bad when you're doing it on the internet, but when you're doing it on Twitter, that's even worse. I mean, that. Twitter is mostly a breeding ground for vile people, you know. So it's. Like, I mean, it's also like painting a fucking target on the poor thing. Like pretty much, yes. You're gonna release it to the hounds. You have to like find a way to give it basic morality, and then release the computer, it. That's though. I'm not sure it would uh, we can give it morality yet. Program morality. You can program it. it a little bit maybe beforehand and then release it in so it at least I mean, has it, some understanding sure of would. what's acceptable right. and what's not. And like just a couple of, a couple of keywords, more. you know, like block out in its coding kind of thing. Yeah. You know? <laughs> you know, so like words like Hitler, you know, just like maybe just like not... You don't, know, include it in don't include it in a that, certain yeah. sentence. <laughs> exactly. Uh, other yeah. than that, I mean, what have you guys seen? Anything new or anything like that? What's going on? That's um, kind of noteworthy. I've actually been loose, not nearly as much as a lot of people uh, in Guild Wars that I'm friends with have been, but I've been loosely paying attention to the fact that uh, since Colin Johansson left uh, the Anet team for... I can't remember if he got a new job or he had personal reasons because I know he's he's a family man kind of thing. Um, a lot of them at Anet are. Um, I don't know what it was, but regardless, um, uh, Mike O'Brien, also known as Mo, um, has taken over the game directing chair again, and I believe Mike O'Brien's real job is actually like the ArenaNet vice president or something like that. Um, but I guess he hadn't been directly in control of the game direction for a while, and now that he is, he's bringing up all of the like hidden problems that have been stuffed under the rug for the past year and a half, if not longer in some cases. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's being really, really transparent about how they're trying to fix things. Um, there's a big April patch slated for, I don't know if it's now-ish or within a week or two, but um, that's going to be bringing some changes to all parts of the game. Uh, they've cut the production, I guess you'd call it. Yeah, they've cut the production on some of the uh, content from the Heart of Thorns expansion that hasn't even released all of its content yet. And they're, they're stopping production on some of that content to work on other things. They're rearranging their team structure a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess in a 
way, I'm kind of excited for it because they've, in its biggest gripe right now is that they've dropped the ball on a lot of things lately while, you know, providing a few interesting things with very little explanation of what the hell's actually going on. And that's why people have been so fucking pissed off. So the fact that Mo is taking the time to actually sit down and go, all right, we understand you guys are really pissed off about X, Y, and Z, and you've been saying it for a long time. So we're reprioritizing our stuff. We were originally doing this, but we're going to shift gears and we're going to pay attention to X, Y, Z for a while and get that fixed so that we can make sure that what we're trying to give you that you actually like it and it works right. Um, and various similar things. So it's, you know, it has some negativity because, you know, content from an expansion that's been out six months still isn't there. And now they're just like, yeah, we're putting this on the back burner now. It's That's like, whoa, what the fuck are you doing? This is all sorts of wrong. And it's like all these stupid, like, early release games that are that are never getting finished. Um, but... To then also go back and be really transparent of like, well, this is, you know, we're going to go fix these things first. And this is what we did wrong. And this is what we're taking away from that experience. And actually talking to the community, which they haven't done much. They, they've talked at us, but they haven't talked with us. And now they're talking with us. So that's actually kind of cool. Awesome. That's good. We'll, we'll see how it actually pans out, because so far it's all talk. And there's been a lot of talk over the past, you know, year and a half with expansions coming and going and whatnot. There's a lot to talk about now. That too. Trying to get things done. We'll see what happens. All for talking and actually seeing getting things done, because I feel like that premise rules my life right now. All right, well, there you go. Uh, also, I know Dude Run, you had a couple of things you wanted to talk about too. Yes, I did. Well, go for it, man. Alrighty then, I will. Awesome. Uh, the Oculus Rift was released recently. I forget what the exact date was. The 28th of March? It was really recent. Like, yeah, within the last week anyways. Yeah. Um, apparently the only people that got the uh, their Oculus, their final version of Oculus, was the Kickstarter backers. And nobody who ordered it after launch got theirs, and people still haven't gotten theirs yet. Apparently, I don't know if this is like due to like manufacturing miscommunication, or if they just didn't make enough, and now they're scrambling to make more, and they're not telling people, "Oh, hey, we're gonna make more." But that's happening now. I don't I'm expect gonna... launch days to go horribly, but yeah. I'm still just in a weird state of, like, wait, it's out now, because I remember when it was a concept thing and we were trying to get one when I was, you know, still working on my degree in Muskingum, and my ACM computer science group was like, oh my god, we should help fund the Kickstarter and get one. It's like $500, maybe we can get funding for it. To me, it's been out for years because so many people have it and play with it and do all these weird things. It's like, oh, it launched. Again? Yeah, what? I think the real, the public dev kit thing they had going was kind of a... It was a neat thing. Like you could buy it no matter what and not be special or anything, but it's kind of feels like it's a whole separate Oculus. Like, they've released it four times. I mean, basically yeah. what it was, it's like when a company launches a free-to-play type of game, right? So then they have the alpha, and then they have the beta, and then they have the open beta. And then by that time, you know, pretty much everyone's gotten it. And then finally, they're kind of like, oh, we're just, you know, it's like, oh, look, it's official release date. And then all those other people that already have it, they've been like, yeah, okay, whatever. We've had it for, like, a long time. Even though, I mean... Even though the release is now a fancier version than than what the beta was. That's Mm. how people, I guess, would kind of feel that they've had the Oculus since, like, the very beginning it was available. I really want one, damn it. (laughs) I don't have the money for one, but I want one. Yeah, I'm hearing that the HTC Vive is, like, the one to get, though. Really? Yeah. 
That's interesting. I haven't even oh, yeah, heard a lot about it. Oh yeah, they teamed up with Valve. Forgot. Did they really? Huh. Yeah. That's some like tech demo on Steam for that specifically, and it's a Portal Two thing. I'm thinking it's made in Source Two, which would be fucking awesome if it was. Yeah, totally. I mean, we're getting close to seeing that soon. I heard of this one game that seemed pretty cool that it was like you're walking into an old retro arcade uh, and basically you walk up to a cabinet and you can, you know, just like push a button and then you're playing a game within a game. So you're playing like, I don't know, like some old arcade game. But then when you move around, it's like, you know, you're at an 80s type of arcade place. And like, uh, just little things like that like it just seems so cool you know like i mean it's not a very intensive graphically intense i was i have something like that actually already but the graphics are hyper realistic mm -hmm. uh because it's called this bar in lakewood called 16 bit <laughs> <laughs> it's an arcade bar and it's great <laughs> nice so you know yeah like things like that i think would be awesome or just like Games that are really geared towards explorations and are going to be, like, made specifically for an Oculus or VR-type machine. <laughs> Those are going to be... Or if, you play a, or if you play a game about uh, being a bird and pooping on passerbys, passersby. Yeah. That was fun as hell. <laughs> Apparently that... I played a game called Sploot, and it's a free-to-play indie game you can... Get it on itch.io. I'll probably link it in the SoundCloud thing. But you can use a VR headset, and you will be the bird. Nice. It is fucking awesome, and I wish I could have done that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I, just, I watched that entire game going like, this is me if somebody force-fed me milkshakes all day long. <laughs> <laughs> I'd probably just be like, nope, going right back out. Hey, um, you also told me that Pokemon Go was uh, out. Oh, yeah. uh, it's not out. It, there's like a closed beta in Japan, I think. Okay. But data has been mined of the thing, and I was supposed to link you guys info about it before we started, but I forgot. Oh, no uh, apparently, how it's going to work is... Has anyone played in Ingress, I think it's called? It's a mobile game. You play it with like literally everybody who has the game on your no, phone. No, I've never played it. Okay, so it takes your GPS location, and basically it ran at. I guess it's like a sandbox kind of game. People place down certain points in the world, in the actual world, and you go to them and you either claim them or you stand near them long enough and get some points and then you assist your team and how Pokemon Go is apparently going to work is there are going to be three teams called gym teams I guess and I forget their colors the thing is blue, green, and yellow and you gotta train your Pokemon there to level them up I don't know I forget how battling works I think it was Pretty simple stuff, but nice. Eh. So basically, just a new everything. way to catch them all. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. Yeah. So uh, I, I mean, I'm looking forward to this game. You know, if it's, especially if it's going to be on Android, that kind of thing. Oh yeah, definitely. It's it's super easy. Out, it? Yeah, it'll be super easy to just get a hold of and and just check it out. So, I'd imagine it would also be for iPhone as well, because oh, yeah. something that big has to be. Pretty much, eh? Oh, hell yeah. I mean, honestly, at this point, it's kind of like, if you're not doing it on both of the major platforms, like, you're kind of, yeah, you're losing out on an entire huge market of people. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Unfortunately for Microsoft, you know, Microsoft Store app really still doesn't matter much. And... I, just, I forgot they even had a phone until there just you. now. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Sorry, Shane. Um, but Who? Case, what? Who? I don't know. He. You know what? I don't know what he goes by anymore. What is yeah. it? Milk? Oh, that Shane. I thought yeah. you meant like Shane from who works at a mic 
A Shane who works at Microsoft. <laughs> Just a random Sorry, Shane. Shane. <laughs> Just a Microsoft. random Shane. <laughs> Sorry, random Shane that works at we Microsoft. We know who you are. <laughs> I forgot who you were. Oh, man. Good times. Good times. Uh. <laughs> And Shro just linked a clickbait article, JPEG. Pretty much. I click it. I clicked it. I clicked it too. And uh, yeah, thankfully enough, I am not scarred for life, so that's always good. <laughs> it's always for once. It's take. not furry porn. There you go. So apparently, BDO Black Desert Online got an expansion already. How crazy is that? I just um, got um. Yeah, why? Game, it's game been, came like, out Shro like said before. Ago. It's been out for a week. <laughs> well, it came out on it's Ma in March beta 3rd. for a week. What the? Hell? It came out on crazy. March third, but yeah, it's crazy. I mean, a okay. uh, couple of things that this expansion, which apparently is called the Medaya expansion, it's added a increase in world size of about thirty percent. It has a, over a thousand new quests, and you have like new guild missions, including special bosses that drop like super awesome weapons. And yeah, well, obviously there's going to be like new weapons and armor and stuff like that. And just your all your stuff can be enchanted to higher levels. So it's it's a full on expansion, guys, and apparently it is free. It's a free expansion. So I feel like we really need to get on this whole BDO experience, man. Like it feels like we're missing out right now. I would, but I have no money. I would, but I just don't have the time. <laughs> like I mean, I, I wish. wish I could I wish I could play more Asta online, but hey, you know, like it's like I haven't had any time. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, time is definitely my factor right now too. I'm gonna not be doing anything in that realm until school is out. Since we all said like one different thing, I thought you would have said sleep. <laughs> no, I don't I like just... sleep. We've been over this. Oh, the sleep is... Yeah. Sleep is fucking awesome. What are you talking about? Sleep is terrible. Sleep is amazing. It feels yeah. amazing. It's bad, though. It's like a... It's like pot. It probably feels good, maybe. I don't know. It's. I don't know. I'm gonna shut up now. <laughs> Wait, did you just say pot or in the butt? Yeah, pot. Oh, okay. That maybe taking it, it in the butt's bad too. I don't know, but it's really good. Because you're like, maybe it feels really good. I don't know, but I don't know. Like... I've never done pot <laughs> or in the butt. That's what I meant. Yeah, in the butt. I'm like, okay. I've never That's done it in the butt. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> never done it in the butt. I'll ne I've never done it in a hut. Oh no. Oh no. Should I start writing Dr. Seuss porn? Yeah, you totally should. I'm pretty sure there's a market for that somewhere out there. there Regardless yeah, of whatever probably. sick thing you can think of, chances are there's a market for it. Yeah. Ah, uh, good times. Yeah. Hey, so I've been checking out the IA website and uh, came across a post that is for Doom 4, and uh, it was posted by One-Eyed Wonder Weasel. has the full demo trailer presentation for Doom 4, that was shown, uh, I guess it was shown this year, yeah. And that trailer blew my mind. It is amazing. Like, I am actually really stoked about playing Doom again. Doom 4. I'm just, when is it coming out? Like, I feel like it's still, like, ways away, though, until it comes out. I was like, I don't even remember. That was some sort of, like, playable alpha they had. I'm actually not even sure that was an alpha. They, I, I'm the thing that I'm confused about is I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure that was a pre-rendered or like pre-recorded thing, but I guess it could have been something someone played. I there. yeah, you know what? Yeah, I mean, chances are it was pre-recorded. It seemed pre-recorded. Yeah, so it seemed fairly well scripted. Mm -hmm. Knowing production like that, it was probably pre-recorded, but. Yeah, I don't, I don't know when it's coming out or anything. I actually, my mind, my mind was so blown on that that after the like demo stopped and he started talking about multiplayer for a little bit, I just closed the video. I'm like, no, can't digest any more of that. That was. I'm excited. I'm hooked. Just awesomeness overload. Go. Pretty much. 
So yeah, go check it out. You know, go comment on it. I'm sure one I'd Wonder Weasel would appreciate it. You know, give him props for for bringing this to our attention. And uh, if and you we'll haven't all done have so, to grab it. yep. And if you haven't done so already, you know, go sign up on the website. Join in all the good times and all the all the posts that are happening right now. All the butt stuff. By all the butt stuff. So yeah, uh, anybody else have anything that they'd like to talk about? Um. Oh, I've been cracking out on Rist of Rain lately, and I know our good buddy Crutch, also known as Steve. E. I don't know how many E's he puts in his name. Um, Forty bajillion. Also plays Risk of Rain. Kuda plays Risk of Rain, and a couple of us have copies of Risk of Rain. So if you have an idea for how you could win a copy of Risk of Rain, or why you would like to play Risk of Rain, send it in on the forums. There you go. We got possible, copies to give away. Possible contest on the horizon. Possible contest on the horizon, indeed. Yes, nice. I yeah, totally down for that. Let's let's do one of those, and it'll be fun times. Also, who do you want to be the IA mascot? Or what do you want to be the IA mascot? A penis. No, we can't do that. <laughs> I mean, technically we could. Alright. We would we become an X-rated website instead of an R-rated website <laughs> if you wanted to go off movie ratings. But uh, we could theoretically do this. Indeed. Not like porn is illegal, it's just not recommended yeah. for underage people. It's just frowned upon by, you know, the entire... By everyone ever. Exactly. It's frowned upon by everyone in a public light. Okay. Everybody's looking at porn when no one else is looking. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, the good times. internet is really, really great. War, War porn! porn. <laughs> I've got a fast okay. connection, so I don't have to wait. War, War porn! porn. <laughs> <laughs> That was back in like just barely out of broadband dial-up <laughs> days, wasn't it? Really? Yeah, I think I was so. Just picking like, that I mean, up. yeah, the, the video quality for it, it, it was pretty damn low, so it was in the early days. I, was I mean, hell, that, that was that also <laughs> when WoW came out. Wow. And made that video. Yeah, it was definitely yeah early early WoW days. But yeah, um. One last bit of news, too, is that, you know, we are sad to announce that we are going to be shutting down the website forever. So, yep. there's that. Yeah. So, you know, even though, I mean, we've talked about signing up and everything, really, I mean, the truth is, like, it's all just, yeah, we're turning it off as soon as this podcast is done, so deal with um, it. The police are also actually uh, getting ready to, you know, arrest me once we sign off. Yes. For some reason, uh, I want to yeah. listen. Tro is about to get swatted. Yeah. Yeah. I I called them. I'm sorry. And and by that, he doesn't mean the SWAT team. It's a bunch of like, there's a few police officers, but it's mostly like burly, buff-looking gay guys in leather, and they have paddles. <laughs> Hot cops. <Yeah. laughs> You're gonna have a fun butt time. Oh, I, uh, I don't. The thing is, I don't know why I did jazz hands when I said hot cops, <laughs> thinking for some reason the microphone would pick it up. <laughs> I think at this point we need to start doing these podcasts live on Twitch. Oh, uh, but you know what? We might have to do that, but that might just have to be a Patreon goal. Who knows? Maybe. Ooh. Or maybe Which... just a future goal if we get enough followers on SoundCloud and maybe enough people on the website. There so. You go. Well, yeah, the, the website's now closing, so I guess not. <laughs> All the possibilities are endless. Even though, I mean, yes, we are shutting down the website, so. It's been fun, guys. So sign up to our shutting down website. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. You have to climb up on the roof. <laughs> climb up on the roof, attach the antenna to the roof, and then climb down the roof, and then climb back up on the roof to watch the big gay football on the roof. And Before then you we shut down the house. website on the roof. Oh, good point. <laughs> pretty much so Not thank you so much guys website. thank you so much guys but, for being uh, here it's been a fun ride you know while it lasted it's gonna suck shutting down the website but oh eh, wait hold on 
it happens. User in your channel so is recording. If anybody Fire else... tits, say hi. <laughs> we're about hi. to shut it down. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we're shutting down the website too. Yeah, if you yeah. didn't hear. Yeah, it's sad. It's sad news. We just. We... Oh, time to break out the Viking funeral stuff. <laughs> burn it. Burn it to the ground. Burn it's abomination. All the bad things. So, once again, signing off. For everyone, thank you so much for being here, guys. Thank you so much for our tits McGee for making a, a last minute appearance there. And, um, well, she's here. Why don't we talk about one more thing? Sure, maybe we anything, will say goodbye we, forever. Yeah, anything, we say goodbye forever. anything in the gaming world there, fire tits? Nope. Oh, fine. okay, so you're the resident <laughs> Asta person. I feel like I'm swearing every time I say that <laughs> game. <laughs> you motherfucking I am. Asta. I haven't. I haven't really been playing much. I've been doing PvP in in Guild Wars. I haven't really been playing the other just because I've been so busy. So. Oh, yeah. well, speaking of Guild Wars, Super Adventure Box is back. Yay! What? Yes. I can't fucking wait. <laughs> 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 You yep, better be lying. It, you better nope. be lying. We I am not lying. lying. I am googling this shit right now. I've We're going totally to shit. got the achievement box in it, and I'm going to go check it out. It is in Radisum right now. I am There's so excited about this that what I typed it. into Google was G W at sign S U E P R Adventure Box. Well, great. The amount of dirt fail that just happened. <laughs> Don't even know. Don't even. Oh know. God! It's so, game release notes, April first. Morning to shit. It's not an April Fool's joke. Totally not. Unlike oh. our, uh, unlike our shutting down the website no, thing, this, this is not an April Fool's joke. Exactly. It's no, but fair. shutting down the website that's still happening too. Uh, we're we're pushing sure. the red, in, in we're ways. pushing the big red button as soon as this podcast is done. Big red butt. We're pushing the big red butt. Exactly. We're pushing the baboon butt. Hey. Hey. Last I knew, my butt wasn't red. Although Adam. Oh, it will be. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Although it will be. If nothing else, mine's red too. You can push that if you want. <laughs> Do you even so where can we find everybody? Where can we find everybody? Well, you'll find me on Twitter and on Twitch as Brian Guitar Dude. That's B R Y A N and then Guitar Dude, spelled normally, not the cool way, like our friend Dude Run here. Uh, where can we find you, Shro? Insomniacsanonymous.com, or you can find me on Steam at The Real Schrodinger's Cat. All right, awesome. Dude Run, where can we find you? You can find me in your deepest, darkest nightmares. Oh my. Or YouTube at. Uh... YouTube.com slash user slash D O O D R U N D O E S T H I N G S. I hope I spelled that correctly and didn't miss I was a single just letter assaulted because... by letters and what is this? <laughs> I'm only a cat. Dude, so run with two letters. O's and no E or U. It, it, I figured just spelling it out's better than just like saying dude with spelled D O O D run does things. It's more confusing. <laughs> yeah, I would be on. People could Twitch, always but, uh, kind of rewind back to your spelling in order to like just get it just right. So you cool. can find me in the SoundCloud description below. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. I would be. I would say my Twitch thing, but apparently my net is being unforgiving, and I don't know why did, that is. Did so you say your I'm foregoing my nut. Yes, my nut is being unforgiving, and God, now I can't. Nut is such stream. a dick. <laughs> I can't stream without my nut exploding, in a bad wow. way. So wow, yeah, my net's being unstable, so I can't stream that well much, and I gotta find the time when it works to make it consistent. So give me time, and I'll be back on Twitch soon. Will do. God, what a dick! All I right, know, right? <laughs> Fire tits McGee, where can we find you? Trying to find a bucket of water to put out my tits. Oh, okay, awesome. <laughs> so if, if anyone has a bucket, so of by water, the water well, right? Yeah, there you go. To send it over. Just permanently has her her dress her... stuck in the yeah. sink. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, guys. Thank you so much for being here once again, and we'll see you again next week. Until then, 
We are the Insomniacs Anonymous, and we are out. We won't be here next week. The website and this podcast is shutting down. I keep forgetting. Yes, we're shutting down. Goodbye. <laughs> so long. Bye. Day. Happy April Fool's Day. But it's not April Fool's Day for me, so it's the truth for me. Oh, it's April Fool's Day. <laughs> <laughs>